Greetings, fellow Chabot employees, past, future, and present. This is Braden from Campus Safety here. I'm putting together a little bit of a video guide to help everybody that's still struggling or a little confused with getting their permit. Uh, this is going to be kind of a follow along, so hopefully this will make this process quick and easy. I understand that anything new can be challenging, but as you see as we get along with this, it's not that difficult. So I have already pulled up the Chabot College website for our permits. You can find this on the campus safety website or in the email that we sent you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on view permits. <clears throat> because this is for the employee permit, it's going to be listed under annual and you can see right here it says faculty and staff. So from here we're going to roll on over here and click the button for register. Here's probably what I, in my opinion, is one of the most important steps of this process. You can either create an account or continue as guest. It is my opinion and I strongly suggest that you create an account. If you do not create an account, understand that any changes you would like to your account, such as your vehicle information or your address, will have to be done by campus safety at a later time. So we're going to continue as guest, but I will show you the screen. When you create an account, you'll just enter your first name, your last name, email, and then you'll create it a password. Now keep in mind, this is not your Chabot login. You can create whatever email account you'd like. You can use a personal one. All you're doing is creating an account so you can log in at a later time to edit your information. But for now, we're going to continue as guest, and you're going to see that it says permit approval after you get past the, um, the whether or not you want to create a, a login. So for permit approval, where it says ID number, that is going to be your W number. I've created one for this demonstration, which I do not believe anybody has. And then last name is just going to be whatever is listed with human resources. Now, one of the things that has been brought up is if you have a hyphen, uh, try it without the hyphen, uh, and that's going to be the issue. So then we click Submit, and as you can see, it just said Approved. There's going to be the information that you need to acknowledge before uh, or read kind of thing, but we're going to come down here and we're going to create the profile on our own and we're going to say I would like this to be my email that I get any notifications on. It already has a W number. Now here you'll need to create your address and this is important for uh, any type of citations or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, college's address. Now, very, very important, before you click out of this, you need to add a vehicle. So we are going to create a vehicle. Uh, I believe, whoops, it's too many numbers. And I'm going to come down here. And you're going to just go ahead and do it by filling in the blanks. So we're going to have a blue Acura ILX. It's a four-door and you're gonna add vehicle to permit. Now, as you can see, it shows up, it pops up. You can edit it again if you'd like. And as an employee, you have the opportunity to add up to three vehicles. So we'll create the different license plate number. Come down here, California. Let's say we're fancy and driving a Bentley. Let's just say a GT. Uh, we'll make it gold. And it is a two-door. How about that? So now I have the two vehicles that I would like registered to my permit. You have to come down here. And the big portion is you have to click I have read, accepted, and are responsible for the terms and conditions. One thing that we have noticed that people are running into an issue is a website design is that the scroll bar is transparent on the side of the window. 
So if you have a mouse that scrolls, that's going to be the easiest. But if you're having issues getting down, you have to come over here and hover for a little bit. And you need to make sure you scroll all the way down. You have read and you've accepted the terms and then you will click register for permit. Now from there, if you had created a login, you'll be able to access all of your information in the upper right corner by entering in that information. And that's it. It's extremely simple. If you have any issues, please reach out to anybody in campus safety, including me. Uh, there is a parking email distribution list now that will reach several employees. But hopefully that was a quick and easy tutorial for you. And uh, I thank you for your time. Have a good one.